our friend Paul has got one of those in his van. It's an aux beam switch controller. But he wants two. He wants one in the front and he wants one in the rear. Every hey. So we're going to be fitting the aux beam double switch panel set. So inside the box you do get the obligatory stickers. You also get a brand new multi-function box as well with all your fuses in. So that replaces the old one that's in there. You get all the cables that you could possibly need and then you also get one two controllers as well you get everything you need to do the job properly so because paul lives in his van full time having two controllers is going to be a lot easier for him because he can have one in the cab and he can also have one in the bedroom as well these on paul's van are live all the time so he can switch his lights on anytime he wants so if you're in bed you can hear some noises outside you can turn the button on and uh, you can have a look he also does have the best cameras you'll ever see on a van as well. They are an absolute amazing set of cameras. They've got infrared and they've also got their own built-in LED lights that come on over night time. But they, they are phenomenal. So that is where Paul's original switch box is now. We're going to be replacing that one for this one. And it's just a case of taking that one off putting that one on and then re-putting the wires in to where they go in this box that's the switch panel that Paul's got in right now we're going to be changing for the new one there's not much difference really between the new one and the old one the cable that is on the other end of the new one which is that one there we don't think there's any difference within the cables and the wiring on the old system to the new system it's just a case of changing them over and then we're going to fit the second one into the bedroom Right, so we're going to start by undoing all his lights which are in there. They've all got markings on them anyway, so we'll just start off by undoing these and getting these cables out before we take out the negative, the live, the controller for the new one and the auxiliary live as well. So we'll get all these out and go from there. You'll notice there is a massive difference between the old one, which is that, and the new one which is that the difference mainly being that they've moved the positive and negative terminals to the other side and then they've also fixed in place where your actual lights go on this one you could move about the fuses if you wanted but on this one they're all set in place so the good thing for us is that we know paul's main beams which are those doubles are going to go in the front and then on the top there that's where your two controllers go so we're hoping that the cable for the old one is going to be exactly the same as the new one but we've got enough cable up there we think to um, get Evan in and Evan tidy good thing i like about aux beam is you get all these little stickers to go on the aux beam controller which is uh, really handy because they do think about every possible light or device that you would have fitted to a van right there we go we got all the cables in a couple of them need a change and just because of where the actual cables were but they're all in they're all done they're all safe and they're all fine and we've even done the stickers on the uh, controllers so we've got that one for the front which is going to replace the one that's in the front and then on the rear Alex Frude, our mate Alex with um, Mispronounced Adventures, has uh, printed Paul a little controller. So, yeah, we've got a controller casing for it. So that's going to stick on his roof in his bedroom, front and back. We've temporarily got this wired up so you can just see if I turn the lights on on this one, which is there, this one will light up. There you go, both on, and then you can switch this one off here, and that one goes off. So we now wire this one right the way through to his bedroom, because you do get 20 metres of cable. No, 20 foot of cable, not metres. Right, so that's the new front one in. So we've got the second one mounted on the roof there, and it's uh, in perfect position, so when he's lying in bed, he can just turn things on. Now, if I press this button here, I'm also forgetting that Emma's in bed because she was in work till 6 a.m. this morning. So I'm probably gonna to get told off when I go in. And that's it, they're all in, they're all done, and time to see if they all work.
So when you do press these, if you turn them on, you can then cancel them out from the back or you can turn them on from the back and cancel them out from the front, which is an absolute bonus. So Paul's turning them on now, as you can see in the back. Now Paul does live full time in his van, so the ability to have the light controller in the back and the front is a massive bonus. It just means that he can turn the lights on if he's in bed or turn them off if he's drunk and he forgets. So having them here on the front is just nice and easy when you're driving. It means that you've got access to all the lights that are on in the van. And if you really want to scare someone, you press that one, which is a little bit loud. I'll say that much. So it's better for him and it cures a massive problem because he did want this kind of system in when we initially put his lights in and done his aux being controller. We were gonna try and kind of make some switches, but then aux beam, well, they come up with two panels. So there we go. Job done, aux beam, two controllers are in, and it also means that we've got a spare. Now, me being me, I'm gonna see if I can um, cut the cable off that, extend it, and do the same as what we've done in Paul's van with ours, but without buying the aux beam control panel. It wasn't something I thought we needed. It wasn't something that I thought, oh, let's do it. But now we've got a spare one, be a fool not to. So, hmm, you will be seeing Neil destroying his aux beam controller soon. Who knows, it might work. Who knows? It might completely fail. We don't know, but we'll give it a go.